Hey guys, um, it is 7.01 in the morning, um, and it's like my afternoon. I accidentally fell asleep last night at around 5 p.m., woke up at 10 p.m., played about four hours of uh, CSGO um, <laughs> with my buddies. It was my first time ever trying it, and uh, it was fun, and then everyone went to bed. And I'm still awake and, and ready to go hunt down some food. But um, I really wanted to try out uh, the new game, um, Soul Axiom. And I thought it would be uh, appropriate to give you guys a quick look at Master Reboot as well, um, which is uh, which was created by the same production company um, or design company. I don't know. I don't really know how big they're. Uh, operation is just that the um, same guys made those two games. Uh, that hold on. Um, <laughs> that's Petals. That's my cat. She's the best cat out of all the cats. Alrighty. Um, oh, I gotta sit up straight. Uh, I gotta get my cigarette. Right, because um, the closer I get to death. The wiser I become, is what I tell myself. Uh, so let's play some Master Reboot. Okay. That's better. Um, so as you know, I've I've kind of played this one through. Uh, I think I stopped probably about two thirds of the way because um, I got to this really tedious timed puzzle, uh, and I don't like timed puzzles. Um, I like things that I can think about and take a while to process, or just straight up like shoot 'em ups. Those are but I don't like the whole like, whoa, you have five seconds to whatever. Um, like in Telltale's uh, The Walking Dead, um, not I guess not really. This isn't really a spoiler, but um, in Telltale's The Walking Dead uh, episode one, um, there's like it, it's very like narrative, obviously. Uh, but then you like have a run in with a zombie. And in order to get away, you need to like press Q or something like that. Um, it's very like out of the blue. Um, by design, of course, because it's meant to take you by surprise, but I didn't like that. <laughs> but I really like the story, so I played that through and um, I'm in the middle of uh, episode, episode chapter two right now. And the little girl protagonist is uh, pretty fucking awesome. So we're gonna start a new game. I don't even remember this part. <laughs> Initializing upload. I love it when like video games or movies that don't that don't really understand how, um, I don't know, coding or the internet or technology works, uh, try to make things look more science-y. I mean, like, what are we, what are we uploading? I guess memories, I don't know, but it's, it's silly. There's, there's a lot of, um, kind of, uh, what's it called? Like, fake jargon. Anyway, so you guys can see that the uh, like the 3D models, um, the textures are fairly simple, and it stays this way throughout the whole game. Um, but it's it's enough for me. Like, uh, all right, what do you? Can I click on you? No. I never really figured out the significance of that symbol, but it shows up. Uh, we just saw it in that little uh, clip. So, um, I don't think I can do anything with that yet. 
I don't know. I think despite it's like, ooh, kind of cartoonish. Oh, I can't go over there, huh? Cartoonish simplicity, um, it's rather lovely. And there are a lot of uh, very different locations throughout this game. So we'll try, I'll try and speed this up, sorry. Uh, I'm talking a lot. You can see like when you hit the edge of the world, it's a grid. Implying that maybe we're in some kind of a digitized version of our world, our memories. And I literally don't remember how I solved this, so I apologize. See, I want, I want to go to over there, but I'm not allowed to. Maybe um, I'm just supposed to touch. Oop. Enough of enough of that, because I keep getting very tempted. Uh, can I dash? Hold on. Yeah, press down, shift, and you dash. So here you are. Uh, maybe I'm just hitting something wrong. Let's um. Can I exit? I just want to see if there's like a use key or something. Um, yeah, so let's see action key. Oh, use is E. So we'll see if that works because I have a feeling that um, there's not much to do on this level. I really love those, uh, we might be starting over, I really love those silly hands that you get in a lot of the kind of um, lower budget uh, first person perspective games. Um, and even in uh, clips of like Overwatch, there's a lot of like this going on um, in your field of vision and I think that is really funny, it's just funny to look at. Um, I don't have any commentary on it, I just think it's funny. Uh, what else? There we go. Use. Where are you going? Oh, the, li the little thing became the big thing. So, um, can't use that. So, let's dash! I hit E to activate that portal. Um... I guess it's not even like low budget games, uh, that same this, like I'm, I'm checking out my hands, uh, am I real, uh, happens in Bioshock a lot, uh, when he's using like the plasmids or I think later, they're called something different, I think, um, Vigors. Oh, well, ooh. It's like a funky perspectival thing going on, but, uh. I remember this one. It was very annoying. Um, you basically just have to get through this forest area and you hit a lot of walls and everything looks the same. I feel like almost I kind of no-clipped under the map for a second. Can I jump over? Can I go around? Sure can! Right here. Okay. That's about the extent to which I can jump. Uh, crouch. It's the usual controls. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Uh, that's not usable. It doesn't look very active, does it? I'm a little chimney. Um, fire. Which way do we go? I feel like I just ended up in a weird place that I didn't expect to be and I can't figure out how the hell I got here. Oh, so I'm, I'm crouching and... Oh, 
Oh, I'm back to where I began. No? Let's keep crouching. Yeah, that's the end of the world. The fuck? Yeah, I remember this one just being, like, really tedious, so... Just everything looks the same. I mean, what do you want? What do you want from me? And if it drags on too long, I'll cut it out, but, um... Did I just come through here? What am I doing? Okay, so I'm really close to some fire and it's not doing anything. Um, I feel like I need to get over there, but I can't, so... At some point you find a... Oh my god, I'm really just gonna lose my shit. What the hell is going on? I think that something went wrong <laughs> with this map and I'm literally just no clipping through it and I shouldn't be. Uh, basically what happens in this level is that you find an axe and you chop away at some wood until you found, find like some code hidden in, in, in the wood. Uh, and it, it takes a long time, and... Alright, so this is the way we were going, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what happened to this game, but it's hilarious. So let's pretend that everything is normal, everything is fine. Uh, yeah, so a lot of the objects kind of, um... They hint that, uh... This world may not be as it seems. And this is like a very awkward uh, motion. And I think I went nuts with it the first time I tried it. Like I was cutting everything down. Um, but it tells me to, and it's like you, it just takes forever. Um, I wasn't sure if I had to cut down all of it or just enough to get through, but I can get through, so let's see if we can um, achieve our hopes and dreams just by cutting a little bit. It's really, what girl wants to spend the morning of New Year's Eve chopping down some uh, shitty digital wood? Uh, so there's that like a uh, replicated theme of the, the smaller cube. Um, it's actually kind of satisfying. Uh, and then um, another version of it. So is there another way you get to that pagoda over there? Can I just? <laughs> All right. I think we gotta cut ourselves some more wood. You can't just hold down mouse one like you, like you need to. Uh. So like honestly, it's just a really dumb mechanism. But that's what this game is like. Like it's not super smooth or anything. It's not super intuitive, but uh, you just end up. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you're left with like a lot of questions. You get to see a lot of different kind of environments. Um, I don't really remember what I'm supposed to do, but I, let's try bringing the duck over to the queue. Can I jump in it? Can I cut it? Oh! Already? Okay. Um, this doesn't seem very active. It's not a portal or anything. Can I get the fuck out, please? Thank you. Um, yeah, there's like very, uh, <laughs> obvious, um, my cross. Oh, really? Yes, okay. Kind of really cliched, like, devilish imagery throughout the game that 
I never really totally understood like why that was there. It doesn't really fit with the <laughs> the aesthetic of the um, game, I think, which is more kind of mysterious. And I think that's what one of the shortcomings. Um, wait, I just came through here, yes. And now, nope. Oh. oh, let's let's cut you. Why the fuck not? Um, crouch down, just cut it, cutting, so that the nerve damage in my right hand starts to act up. And no, it's not that bad, but I do have hands that are not ideal for <laughs> for gaming, really. Um, from a many years of... I'm just gonna hug this wall because I really don't know where I'm allowed to go. So... Alright. So here I am at a place that also seems kind of inert, like I'm not actually supposed to do anything, I'm just supposed to be here. And the thing is, um, <laughs> the nature of dreams, right, and the nature of uh, memories, which is kind of what this is about, um, is that they are, they become pastiches like this and they're not necessarily, uh, one thing or one theme. Hi! <laughs> it's like humorous stuff that's mixed in with, you know, childhood terrors and, um, and uh, first loves and all that kind of uh, junk, all that kind of junk. Um, and I think this captures that in that in that sense uh, pretty well. So I press E. Here we go. Ooh. Right, so I back. I back away. And then you start creating these like imaginary landscapes, soundscapes, whatever. Um, memories and dreams become so skewed, uh, they become intertwined, especially with age. Um, even with just the passing of childhood, uh, your memories start to not deteriorate necessarily. I think those sounds are supposed to freak me out, but I've played this one before, and I don't quite remember what I'm supposed to do, but at least I'm not scared. Let's see, what does that say? Sign, uh, um, show I got the, wait, hold on, uh, 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 Obviously those two go together, I don't know what I was thinking. So here Welcome now we find the out. Foundation. As a new employee, you are now a part of our ever-growing family. You might have to raise the volume. Family that provides two million users with entertainment, comfort, and happiness every day. Family voted number one in Decade Magazine's most influential companies of all time. Family committed to bringing people together. But what does mystery actually do? We are proud to introduce to you the Soul Cloud. Mm. Users upload their memories, together with vital personality statistics and traits, to our dedicated servers, where our industry-leading engineers sculpt this information into digital cities, towns, and gardens. Upon the user's expiration, a digital soul is created which can relive these memories again and again. What's more, the deceased's family and friends can visit their soul whenever they like, making death of the past. But where do you come in? As part of the Soul Cloud's maintenance staff, you'll be working together with Seren, the Cloud's innovative security system, to do whatever it takes to ensure the smooth running of the system, from recovering vital data to walking Mrs. Smith's digital dog. As a Mystery Foundation employee, you are now a part of our family. Together we can make the impossible possible. 
Mm-hmm. <sighs> so, um, just like a quick aside, I just looking in the webcam, I don't know which way my hair is supposed to go. Um there's been like a lot of movies of about the same topic, um, sort of like the uh, the digitization of memories or um, the ability to manipulate dreams. Uh, there's like Inception, Eternal Sunshine, uh, that movie with Johnny Depp where he gets uploaded into the cloud and turns into some kind of a like just an awful creature being. Um, and then there was recently uh, that really fantastic movie that I don't remember the name of um, that has the, the, the two dudes, like one's like a Google entrepreneur and uh, there's a, there's like an Android lady and I just, please, please leave me a comment if you remember the name of this movie. Um, but I think it's one of the sort of preoccupations of our, of our generation. Um, just like every generation has their kind of uh, overarching concern. Um, like the Cold War, you know, like the, the fears and the paranoia uh, back then. I think right now we're really um, on the cusp of uh, starting to develop technologies that may, you know, uh, lengthen life or avert death or reverse uh, Alzheimer's um, or like cryogenics, things like that. But uh, we're just like at a moment where we're probably not going to be able to actually see that in action. And um, I think it's kind of just in a lot of people's heads. Uh, and in a way, it's kind of happening anyway through social media, um, which is why I got the fuck out of Facebook, <laughs> um, except to like, keep in touch with some relatives like once a month, um, is that we are in a way kind of uh, uploading our lives to the cloud anyway. But um, I mean, they're not exactly uh, analogous because uh, I think that Facebook and Instagram are basically uh, highlight reels, uh, like, like brag reels of the best stuff that's ever happened to you. I mean, not a lot of people post about, like, getting rejected for a date or things like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I think this whole idea, it's in a lot of, of video games as well, um, books, all of that stuff. Um, just this idea of, uh, oh, Her, um, movie with Joaquin Phoenix and uh, the voice of Scarlett Johansson. Um, I need to figure out the name of that movie. Uh, I'll get back to you on it. But um, yeah, this maybe it's a hope or a fear. Uh, it's the fear of like corruption, um, the idea of like senti sen sentience, uh, all of that stuff. It's kind of floating around in everyone's heads, I think. So uh, let's get back to the game. It's suddenly dark, it's suddenly spooky. This is something. Uh, I don't know now if I'm allowed to enter. The light has gone. Whew! The light has gone green. Hello. So, I mean, that wasn't too jump, jump scary, but uh, it starts to get repetitive and it starts to happen more and more. Uh, as the game progresses. Intrusion oh, Jesus. That scared me. That scared the fuck out of me. Alright. Am I running? I'm not touching anything. I'm just running. do you like sort of the colorscape um the neon it's like tron kind of uh there's a map i like to play in team fortress that's modeled after tron um that's just very simplistic it's like black basically with with these uh these bright uh cords of light uh do i stand here do i do a thing i'm not sure There's a duck. I think I'm supposed to do something with the duck, yeah. 
Oh, uh, did I say Inception already? Um, all of that. Uh, welcome to the Soul Cloud. What are these text texts contain messages? Oh yeah, they're kind of um ways of uh crossing the boundary, uh the blood brain barrier or whatever that separates uh the dead people uh who are conscious in the soul cloud and their living relatives. Um we don't really need to read all this because we're not gonna stay here very long. Um, we're gonna move on to Soul Axiom, which I've never played. So uh, it seems that I am now allowed to enter this uh, totally tubular area. Hit E. We'll just take a peek at the next the next one. Uh, I believe, if memory serves, uh, that this is sort of the hub, um, where you can enter various memories. Um, I'd like to find the one of, uh, her bedroom, or his, I think it's a girl, uh, library, I never did that one. Graveyard memory, there's the playground one that I really like, circus memory. Let's walk faster! So it seems like these are not really, oh, some of them are not open to us. There are a lot. I, I guess I haven't really played that many out of these. Uh, the park is interesting. School, so. I don't know, it's like benchmarks in, in her life, you know? Uh, I can't go in? I might have to start with the first one. So, um... Yeah, it's kind of like in, you know, like the secret world or any similar, uh... Oh. Nope, denied. Oh, okay, now they're unlocked. Alright, I really, I, I would like to go to the childhood memory, please. Thank you. If this is the right one that I can remember. Yes, um, I really like this level a lot, um, and then I did not like the level that came after. So this this will be the last one that, that we kind of run through. Did I come out of here? Oh, so that, that lets me re-enter. Um, and the, I guess that's a mechanism for letting you get out of uh, puzzles that you don't want to solve. Because the worst is like puzzle games where, where you just absolutely have to get through it in order to progress and sometimes they're just like these mini games or quests that are so repetitive and difficult um, so it's nice that you're able to just kind of drop this if you don't, if you're not into it or you can't solve it. And I like this song even though um, you end up hearing it a million times. What does that mean? Can I, can I take you, or...? Okay. Oops. Uh, resume. If I hit return. Alright, so the quest is to find three keys. And I don't know if ducks are, uh, significance to this one user, and that's why, like, that's, that's the, um, whew, that's the object that, um, is significant to this person, and that's why it's used as, as like, an icon for messages, um, <clears throat> but it's really great because your scale has suddenly changed, and I'm actually not gonna find all the three, uh, I know one of them is in here, there's some puzzle you need to solve over here. But my favorite part, even though it involves a bit of a <laughs> uh, scare factor, which if you've ever heard me talk about games, you know that I'm not a fan of those. Um, 
So yeah, this is like glow-in-the-dark paint, right, that like kids play with. Um, I even have some. And uh, the scale shift suddenly turns it into uh, markers on a road. This uh, toy ambulance or whatever transforms this into a, a city or, you know, like architecture that surrounds you. So uh, I used to know the right path. I'll probably go down the wrong one and suffer terribly. I might jump. You might see me jump. Um, oh, there he is. That, that guy's not a good guy, and he's probably gonna eat me. No, I don't, I don't know. Something bad happens if I don't make it out. Oh, there he is. So um, we'll st we'll stop there uh, with with this game. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of the um, the caliber of the graphics. Um, you really you really can't turn it up anymore uh, to get you know more polygons or anything. Uh, it look it looks like this, and and for me that's fine. Um, it's not like a high budget type of uh, uh, production. Um, it's more of like a, a concept piece, I think, that's been carried out to completion, but uh, roughly. And uh, I am down. Um, like that, that bear attacking me. That's that's fine. But uh, there's a girl that just keeps popping up uh, more and more as you continue, and um, that kind of kills it for me. Uh, because um, sort of the notion of um, you know, um, saving souls uh, and memories becoming corrupted digitally uh, and all of that, I think it can be and has been in most places sort of a be more like nuanced and kind of more of a subtle undertone. So uh, it kind of kills me when um, when they rely on those like jump scare tactics. But uh, I think we will move on to Soul Axiom next, and um, I'm hoping that it's going to be awesome. Alright, so I have uh, Soul Axiom loaded up and ready to go. Uh, I honestly um, have not done a ton of research, um, just because I, I wanted to kind of figure out the game myself. So I don't really know what the game is about, but I, I feel like it's um, kind of a logical progression from... Uh, possibly master reboot. Um, I know that they're sort of thematically related, so uh, let's give it a try. Um, and uh, we're not going to do a full walkthrough, obviously. I'm going to get as far as I can get, uh, and that'll be that. I'm in first person view. <laughs> really similar look. Like the cyberpunky kind of neon. Alright, here we go. Ooh. I kind of want to fix my mouse sensitivity, but but maybe not. I don't want to take. 
Oh jeez. Okay, let's go check these things out first. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Sorry. Let's turn it way down. And anything else? Kinda wanna fix the FOV, but I won't because that's boring for you guys to watch. It's a lot better. Okay. I think shift is is to dash or to sprint. We're gonna sprint everywhere. I don't know that there's access to that, so let's go to the logical place and try and uh, get in here, I guess? What the fuck is going on? So I'm standing on this... The top of a greenhouse or a sunroom. Oh my god, I can't possibly be stuck within the first two minutes of starting this game. Can I? Oh, right, 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 okay. Ooh, this makes me nervous. Um, so I'm not quite sure if this cursor is just a crosshair. I don't know if there's combat in this game. The graphics seem a little bit more advanced. Um, but it's the same thing. It's kind of ch choppy, I feel like. Uh, it's more about, um, Hultsy. I don't know if I can get further, even though I'm, I'm crouching. It's so dark, I, I kind of almost just want to brighten my screen, but I assume they want it to be this dark because uh, it's atmospheric and scary and more engaging if you can't see shit. Um, e again. entire room. <laughs> Imagine that and then getting up two seconds later to go check out what's going on. All these like pistons, um, jump, jump. And now this is green which I assume means go so I'm just gonna stand on it. Mm, nope. These guys work yet? No. I mean, something must have turned on that I can use. Wait. I can't jump back up that way. Can I jump on these? I don't think I meant to. Let's crouch back. It's very like point and clicky, like old school, in that you're given prompts when you get near any kind of a usable or interactive object. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Oh, maybe I can. <laughs> oh. I don't know if that's like from any kind of a 
pack for scripture for scripture but it has a very uh, religious kind of tone. They said jump! Jump! Uh, it's, I don't know why it's not like I mean I feel like it's telling me that I can like go into it but uh, I think that slit might be a, a little too skinny for me, so let's exit and see if, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, if anything has changed. Oh! I have lit up the entire cityscape using my two hands to complete this circuit. A massive amount of energy went through me. And even though I've broken the circuit... Uh, all of this shit's still going. I assume I have to climb this. It look good. I don't know. I'm hit. I'm hitting E, bro. Oh, and then your directionals, I guess. Some kind of like ship. Oh, jeez. All right, there we go. Okay, hold on. We can do this. I, I swear. Are we safe? Are we safe? Very hard for me to tell. Maybe I guess jump. No. Uh. But that's where I came from. So what do I do? I just jump off. No fall damage. No harm done. like the digital sails of a, of, a, of a ship. I mean, it already resembles a ship, but... This might kind of be like a digital steering wheel. Nope. This game is very, like, aggressive with its noises. Um, I'll check out downstairs one more time. I really think that's going to be it because uh, I'm not super interested in doing like a walkthrough for this game. I just don't know what that's... I guess that's kind of a model of what we're on. Can I touch you? No, you can't. Can I touch you? Can I jump on you? No, I can't. Ah, well... I feel like it's time for me to get breakfast because um, <clears throat> uh, this is what I've been eating. Dry, college style. You smash up the ramen and uh, put the sauce on it. So um, I'm gonna go get breakfast soon. But I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. I mean, I know that I am missing something. Seem to get out of this area. I'd like to get up there. I don't. Is that the poop deck? I, I don't know if that's the poop deck. Um, I'm five, and I think the word poop is funny. Uh, so I'd like to. Anything that I I can interact with right now, except maybe can I jump? Can I jump? Please? Oh, for fuck's sake! Um, 
So like in terms of like the mechanics and stuff, it's kind of similarly frustrating to the other game. Like things aren't super intuitive. off the goddamn ship, but it's not something. Oh, this looks down. Those are, those, like right here, those are the... You can't see the game! Alright, here we go. Um, yes, yeah, so this is looking down to that room. You can see the text right there. Like, semi-religious kind of thing. Can I jump off here? No. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, just like find find a walkthrough on the internet or something, but, um, this is my first impression of Soul Axiom, uh, graphically and aesthetically very similar, uh, to Master Reboot, and I'm interested in it, but, uh, I don't really need this music blaring in my ear, and I don't know if I'm shouting because I don't know how the sound is mastered um, in my video right now. Uh, I've been kind of neglecting that, uh, so I don't know. May maybe I'm yelling, but to me the sound is like, unbearably loud. So, so that's the thing. Um, yeah, I feel kind of deadlocked. So. Um, Let's uh, kind of cut it off there. I just wanted to sort of show you both, so I don't know if that's a useful thing for me to have done, but I did it. Uh, did it, done it, and I'm done. Uh, and I think I'm going to go get breakfast, but I, I, I just I feel like I'm going to end up at McDonald's getting one of those um, weird platters that have like a patty of meat and a a microwaved pancake and I just put syrup all over it but um yeah 753 is kind of early for me and uh this is my evening now I guess uh so but anyway thank you for watching um do, 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 do. if I ever keep going with this game and figure it out uh maybe we'll revisit it but um you know if you're looking for tips on how to solve the puzzles or whatever uh, go some someone someone else has already done it I'm sure um, so that's it all right uh, I will see you guys later um, with whatever weird game I decide to buy uh, that I'd like to show you guys about um, show show you show you guys about show you guys um, so I will see you next time bye